power in order to deal with McCaskill's volume. She knows that Jessica McCaskill comes out and throws a ton before 6.30 a.m. when she goes to work and then trains after work. So, again, that's a difficult fight. But she has a lot of professional fights. Sergio mentioned that activity. That's when McCaskill was busy. Conventional right man, nicely done by Marius. That way, the body language exudes confidence. See right there in Madison Square Garden, and we, we put it to work. Another right hand by McCaskill, and we look forward to work, work, and etc. Farias made her. That's a factor. Two again, two minute rounds here. They'll fight ten, but women's rounds are two minutes. Go quickly. Right hand by the way. Hispanics with the scorecard. In the first round to McCaskill. Last round to Farias. In the first round. Steve, as soon as we get him there. Steve, go ahead. Steve, try again. No, but hey! And let him know that he's in control of the fight. Steve, thank you so much. Get Watch your head. Watch your head. Which could swing things again. These are close rounds. Shot to the body. Watch your head. Go and let her fight out. Good jab and hook from McCaskill as she tries to wade in. Farias. This is a round, the fifth round, where McCaskill started separating herself from Farias. Up to that point, Farias kept the close. Farias now not very broke. And here, women's title fight for two of the belts at 140 pounds. Farias, like when you say break, that means no more punching. Or at least you do say that. You're not supposed to rabbit punch like that, but you do want to punch in between, and sometimes you cross the line. Yeah, again, I'm not sure if she did that earlier, but again, every point taken away, that could be significant right there with the fighters that we can see even here in the first row race. I've seen Steve referee many fights, seen top referees, and 100% with Steve Moore. When a fighter's trying to break the fight, sometimes you break the fight, it's not really your fault. I don't think Jesse is too Sergio. The referee will say, punch out, this punch out, this going to get tangled up. Jessica needs to keep that change up. She was doing some good. Disqualify. She's doing blatantly and on purpose now, not letting Ms. Tesco fight. WBC super lightweight belts are on the line. Round eight here. Early Chris Maddox, do we have an update now? Yeah, he is still at the hospital. Not yet. He has been conscious this year. That fight. I mean, it was, it was a tough fight. They didn't even hit the canvas, but it was just a brutal shot. And he's been knocked out before. And it's just consecutive punches like that. It's just the judges. Oh, the way that Fires is kind of mucking it up, you've got to make sure that when you're coming off of ankle injury or anything, you know, being grabbed there, but she could get hit on the thing. Short shot of the right hand, Fires answers back. You can see a punch that led to that. It's just you, you can't just bend over, turn to your opponent, or turn away from your opponent. Tangled up between the two. We will not. Now I'm with you. Up the cut, hit combination there from Casco. She's done the hard work. This is going to be a different outcome. It's just a sloppy affair on her part. Good work. Right. Very competitive, hard fought, uh, but just never got oh, into no, a good stop, flow. Stop. And now it's over. Chicago did not appreciate Erica Farris. Yeah, raise your hands up her hands. They say, hey, just Jessica Casquilla Marcaskill.